Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to share 10 tips and tricks for Android N. Now, as you know, Android N is actually Android 7.0 and the N stands for Nougat. Now, according to Wikipedia, Nougat is a family of confections made with sugar or honey, roasted nuts, whipped egg whites, and sometimes even chopped candied fruit. Anyway, let's dive in and explore some new sexy features in Android N. All right, tip number one multitasking let's take a look at how exactly multitasking works on android n so basically let's say you have launched a few apps already and you want to go into the multitasking panel all you do is you press the square button here and that brings up all the applications that you're running in the background so let's say that i want to go to chrome and i want to multitask chrome with another application the first step is to actually bring chrome to the forefront and then press and hold the square button, which is going to bring the multitasking options. So from here, you can see that I can multitask with apps and games, the Play Store or Gmail. So let's tap on Gmail. And now I have a multitasking window enabled. And again, I can resize these windows as I please, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay. So you can give priority to the one that you're working on. And then when you're done with that, you can actually hide it on the top for a minute. You can work on this one and then you can split them if you feel like it. Now, let's say that you want to actually get rid of one of these windows. All you have to do is slide the window that you do not want away. So let's say I don't want Gmail. I can simply slide it away and that ends multitasking. Now, one more thing you can do with the multitasking is you can switch back and forth between two recently used applications. So to find out the two recent applications, if you press the square button, you'll see that Chrome and Gmail are my recent applications. So if I keep pressing the square button, it switches between Gmail and Chrome. Okay. So as you can see, Chrome and Gmail are my two recent applications because they are the two applications in the forefront. So if I keep tapping this, I can do it very quickly. Double tap back to Chrome, double tap back to Gmail. Again, very useful feature if you want to jump back and forth between two applications. And here's a feature that is not a big deal, but it's still one of my favorite features because I do love customization on a given product. So let's uh, go to Chrome over here and let's bring the keyboard. Now, as you can see, you get the default stock keyboard. What you can do is you can actually go in and you can download new themes. So let's go to the settings really quick. Okay, let's scroll down to language and input right over here. If you tap it, you can go to the virtual keyboard and then you tap on Google keyboard. And from here, you can actually go to themes, which allows you to pick various themes for your keyboards. So you can tap on red. Now you have a red keyboard. Okay. Or you can go down and there's a lot of these guys. Here's pink one for ladies and here's a red one. So let's take a look at how it looks in real life. Go up here. And there we go. Absolutely fantastic. So those are the keyboard themes for the stock Google keyboard. All right, so let's move on to other tips. So if you go into the settings, as you can see, the settings menu has been slightly rehauled. On the top over here, we have actually suggestions, which is actually making a suggestion on which setting you should access. If you tap this arrow button, those things will come right up. So they want me to add an email account. They want me to use my voice and they want me to add one more fingerprint since I only have one right now. So those are suggestions that you can hide. If you tap that arrow down, it will expand it. And if you uh, tap arrow up, it's going to hide the suggestions. And of course, if you carefully look at these names over here, it says Wi-Fi, it says Bluetooth, it says data usage. Underneath each title, there's a little information about what's happening within that setting. So in the Wi-Fi setting, it says it is connected to the network called Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, called Saki. And it says Bluetooth is currently disconnected. And even under data, it actually shows you how much data is currently used. So here it says zero bytes of data used. So as you can see in the settings, you get a little summaries under each title which is great because if you look at the battery here, it actually tells you that the battery life is 60% and even gives you an approximate days left of battery usage 
based on your current use. And you can see similar data under each title over here. Very, very nice. The next thing I wanna talk about is the notifications panel. So if I pull the notifications panel down, as you can see, we have a notification. This is a Hangouts message uh, from my other account. So what I can do with Android N is I can actually click reply and I can send a response right in the notifications panel. So I can say hi and click send and then message goes down to whoever. Now if you go into the quick toggles, if you scroll down one more time, you see the quick toggles right over here. So with the quick toggles, when you tap on certain quick toggles, instead of quickly turning that option on and off, it goes into the detailed settings for that particular toggle. For example, if I tap on flashlight, it simply turns on the flashlight. But if I tap on Wi-Fi, it actually expands the menu and it gives you more options to connect to, okay? Uh, from here, I can go to more settings, I can click done, I can turn the Wi-Fi off, or I can just go right back. All right, so one more thing I wanna talk about is called the stacked notifications. So if you pull down the notifications panel down, as you can see, I have a notification from Gmail and from Hangouts. So with the Gmail, I have two options. If I have multiple notifications, which in this case I do, I can either use my finger, just one finger, to expand those notifications, okay? Or I can use this arrow icon here to actually collapse or expand it. So if you tap on the arrow on the top over here, it's gonna expand the notifications. And if you tap the arrow button one more time, it's gonna collapse it, okay? But with your finger, you can expand them as well. Now, once you expand a notification stack, you can further dig down into it by reusing your uh, finger again, or even the arrow button that is right over there, and simply dragging down. And from here, you get certain options. You can delete the email, or you can actually respond to that email. If you click respond, it's going to take you into the Gmail application from where you can do a full response. Now remember, with the uh, text messages from Hangouts, you can actually respond right on the spot. So if I tap reply here, it's going to allow me to reply right on the spot. So I can say hi, click send, and that's taken care of. And if I tap this reply over here, it's going to actually take me into the Gmail application. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And this is just because a text message is normally shorter, whereas an email is not. So with the text message, there's enough room in the panel to make the response. But with an email, you may have to go and type a long email. Another great thing that they did was if you go into the settings and if you go into, let's say you go into display and you're just doing something and you want to, without actually exiting this display options, you just want to take a look at other options you have available in your main settings. You can tap this hamburger icon on the top and that actually brings the main menu. Okay, so this is the same uh, settings menu you see when you tap, let me just get rid of that. When you tap settings, it takes you to the main menu. Okay, so if you dig down and if you press the hamburger icon, it brings the same main menu that you clicked to go in there in the first place. I don't see myself using this feature too often, but it's nice to have nice and refined things such as this. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.